Hi everybody, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna do another video on Tower of Fantasy, but now the optimization guide for your mobile phone. So it's a little bit different. For this game, I'm using a Samsung S21 and it's running great, honestly. Uh, I'm gonna show you a couple of tricks that you can do with Samsung, but I'm pretty sure you can do that with your uh, other brand of phone because you have other like softwares for it. I really recommend to play this game in priority mode. It will help you a lot to make sure that your tele your mobile phone is focused on your game and close all the other app. So what I recommend normally, just go to your game plugin, go to priority mode and go to your Tower of Fantasy. Make sure that you apply it for all your game and you want to activate the background app cleanup. So press apply, press change. So you want to make sure that your phone is 100% dedicated to your game uh, when you're playing it and you will need to activate it over there to make sure that you are in priority. Now uh, I'm going to unlock it because I want to see some stats when I play the game. Um, so let's go inside of the game. So as you can see at top left, I have my FPS, CPU, GPU, temp and RAM. If you want to see that, you need to uh, remove the priority mode. So when you do some testing, I recommend to just like look at your stat. If everything is good just put your priority mode back and you will not see your stats but you will know that your phone is running well so first of all let's start with same screen renderer the amount of people that you can see in your um, image when you're playing i don't recommend to go too crazy on mobile phone on desktop you can put a little bit more start with 10 look at it if you're struggling with your fps definitely lower that you can even put it on the minimum if you want pure performance after that, in advance, honestly, if you have something recent uh, for your phone for the past like two or three or even four years, uh, you, you can run those texture at high if you have like a high-end phone. Uh, if you don't have a high-end phone it, and it's kind of an old phone, go with medium. And if you're playing on like a very entry-level mobile phone, go with low. But it doesn't really affect your FPS. It's more about the VRAM on your GPU. For that material quality, I recommend to go with medium on this one. Extreme to high, you will have a nice 3% boost in your FPS. High to medium, another 3%. But I only saw a difference of 1% between low and medium. So medium is a good spot if you want like quality in your image and a decent amount of FPS. After that, vegetation detail. This one is taking a lot of resources in this game. You can expect 4% boost for each bracket. Uh, so I really recommend to go with low. After that, you have view distance. View distance is pretty much the um, the parameter that will take the most of your resources, maybe with the resolution. And I know a lot of people don't like to play at low because you don't see very far in front of you. So my recommendation in this game is go with medium. Uh, it's, it's almost 5% for each bracket. So extreme to I5, I to medium, another 5 uh, so look at medium. If your FPS are good, you can definitely stay at medium. Uh, if you're struggling with your FPS when you are in the open world area, definitely go with low. Post-production, I recommend to go with low. You can expect a nice 5% boost in your FPS. Um, and also, it will add a, a little bit more of visibility in this game. I don't like the post-production in this game. It looks a little bit blurry. So that's why I'm putting this one at low. After that, you have the resolution. Uh, in my case, I have three options. Honestly, even if you have a 2K phone or even 4K phone, go with HD because UHD is taking a lot of resources in this game. I don't recommend to using it. I prefer to have more FPS and less resolution and HD looks really good. So that's why I'm going with HD. If you have an old HD phone, I recommend maybe to go with normal. Just go a little bit lower than your current resolution and it will help you a lot uh, to stabilize your FPS. After that, for the FPS part, it will really depend on your phone. If you do, you have like high refresh rate money um, screen. Uh, in my case, I really like to play at 90. The only issue here, if you're playing for a long time, it's causing a lot of issue with thermals when you're playing high refresh rate. So uh, sometimes you will get stuttering because your components are too hot. Uh, so really depend. If, you're if you see that you struggle because of the high refresh rate, maybe you should just lock it at 60. And if you're playing on the old phone or entry level phone, maybe you should lock it at 45 or even 30. The last one is shading. If you have like a decent phone for the past like three years, you can definitely put your shading at on. If you're playing on a very old phone, I recommend to put shading at off. 
So this is pretty much it for my guide uh, for Tower of Fantasy. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your phone and also your region because sometimes the CPU and the GPU will change depending where you live. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.